Welcome back to another episode. I hope everybody is staying safe and doing very well. Today, we are gonna be installing rod holders into the bow. So let me show you the rod holders that I got from Amazon. All right, so these are right here. Really nice. I can't remember how much I paid for it. Uh, if I find how much I did pay for it, I will put it down in the description below. But uh, these are two inch flush mounted rod holders and these are set at 30 degrees. And then in the inside, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's a uh, rubber lining. Yeah, here we go. It's a uh, rubber lining just to help uh, protect your rods from getting uh, cut up and scratched up by the stainless steel. And yes, this is stainless steel and as well came with three massive <laughs> Phillips head stainless steel screws. All right, so I did get two, there's one. There's a second one. Let's take this over to the boat and let me show you guys where I'm thinking about putting it. All right, so I was thinking and trying, I was thinking about maybe putting it over here uh, or something over here. But again, that's massive as you can see. Over here, I don't know. I'm, I'm really not liking it too much over here. So I was like, okay, let me try this one over on this side. And I sort of like this. It kind of sticks out that way, so the rods will be out this way of the boat. Uh, so if we decide to troll, uh, it'll be here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. The only issue that I'm a little concerned about right now is this 30 degree. So if we put this like this, you can see on how much that's gonna stick out. So I might have to bring it right up to the edge and it might be okay just like that. The other thing that I can do is do this and then cut it. Cut the pipe there a little bit shorter so that it can accept. I think I might do that. And then there's the bar in the middle there. I might have to re-rivet it. Okay, let me figure this out and I'll let you guys know uh, what I came up with. that is it um okay so i did not put the rubber gasket because it was actually lifting it a little too high so i left it out so it can fit closer to the gunnel all right and i really like the look of that so we got one on this side over here one on that side of the motor 